Hello and welcome to the Twitch Gong Show. This is a show I do every Tuesday where I play early builds of indie games and you get to decide as the audience whether a game is awesome as is and we should keep playing it or whether it maybe still needs a little bit more work. We will gong that game and move on to the next one. The official partner of the Twitch Gong Show is Game Round and it is a completely free platform where you can earn prizes by playtesting early builds of indie games. So huge thank you to Game Round. They're the perfect partner for the Twitch Gong Show because we're all about helping the devs and publishers kind of in this process of creating a game, giving feedback early on. That's what this is all about. The first game of today's Twitch Gong Show is Dying Flame. Dying Flame is developed by Roundtable Games Studio and here's what I know about it so far. Welcome to Dying Flame. Wake up in a mansion with only your lighter in hand. The lighter's flame will be your constant companion as you explore this strange place. But be wary, for something roams the dark halls to snuff that flame of hope with despair and death. Dun dun dun! Voting is now officially open, and let's see what this game is all about. Ouch, my head. Did I have one too many at the pub last night? I feel that. Lighter? Lighter? Okay, strike my lighter with shift. Okay, arrow keys to move, Z to interact, and X to cancel. Here we go. This small box has a heart-shaped lock on it. It doesn't seem to have a keyhole, though. How do I unlock this? What is this? The curtains have stiffened with age. Why can't I open them, though? Oh, man. What is this? A, to use a cigarette to save. Your lighter must be lit. Cigarettes are hidden throughout the, the place. Find them. Uh, so it just makes a noise. Ouch, that's a bit hot. What's a bit hot? Okay, creepy. The door is locked. I'll need to find a key somewhere. You have obtained journal entry 29. The radio played our song today. I pulled James off the couch for a dance. I love seeing him smile. Uh-oh, did you just hear that door? Why did that door shut in, in game? Uh-oh. Long, narrow slashes are cut deep into the wall. I don't want to be in the same room with whatever did this. Okay, I should smoke a cigarette and save. Yes, I'm starting to get scared. Yeah, <sighs> Brian K says, Oh, we have a winner! Brian K says, This game was so well designed to provide that environmental ambiance. Indeed. So congratulations to Roundtable Games Studio on your gong show win. I haven't gone this way yet, so this is new. This seems to be the front door, but it's locked tight. There's a key in the lock, but it doesn't seem to be the right one for this door. You've obtained the study room key. Great. Oh, what's that on the ground? It looks like there's blood on the ground. It's a statue of a warrior of some sort. It looks so real, like it's about to draw its sword and start to fight an enemy. It looks like it could come to life at any moment. Now I feel like they're definitely telling me to save. Yes, I will save and use a cigarette. Um, let's do it. I am now in here. Whoa, okay, some good puzzle times. It's a wooden chest with a combination lock. The symbols must mean something. I just don't know what it means. Oh, another journal entry. This is her journal. So we've got the study room key, journal entry one and journal entry 29. I like how this game feels like there's a much larger world that we have to explore in it, which is cool. This, you've obtained one cigarette. Great, and there's more blood. Bloody dripping handprints splattered across the wall. What happened here? Ah. What the bloody hell was that indeed? That was either something collapsing or a way out. All right, we're going to the West Wing. The phone's ringing. Okay, someone called the phone. I picked up and then they hung up. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. It's a flowering shrub in a white porcelain vase. But it just fell over? Oh, people! 
Oh my gosh! There's a doll that's wearing a bridal dress sitting on this chair. Kind of creepy. You spot a clean knife in front of the board. Pick it up. Pair of tongs are here too! Oh! I got a pair of tongs now. However, this is the end of our 10 minute playthrough of our 10 minutes extra playthrough, I should say, of Dying Flame. All right. So this next game we're going to be checking out today just came out January 13th from Digital Continue, so less than a week ago. This is a genre mashup. So new games every time you play, guaranteed. Super Mash Auto creates retro games with crazy titles, mashed up gameplay and objectives, and even authentic bugs. This looks wild and I am excited to check it out. Hey, Super Mash is a game that makes games. However, because it's a system, Super Mash doesn't design games the way a person would. The mashes can be good, weird, unbalanced, incredibly hard, super easy. The fun comes from finding and saving the gems and rising to the challenge to overcome seemingly unbeatable mashes. It works? What did you do? Uh, just put in the carts. But we tried that earlier, it didn't work. You put in both? No, um, only one. Why would you put in two carts at the same time? I don't know, but this is pretty fun. Zany, but fun. Okay. Look at the back of the carts. They all have a genre label and a bunch of numbers. What genres should we slot in? Let's do a platformer. JRPG. Select genres to mash. Here we go. Play type game machine. The fighter. Peasants. <laughs> I like the music already. The way that monster is smiling at you makes it look hungry, but is jumping on it so you can eliminate the only marked enemy clomp in under 10 minutes in safety still an okay thing to do? Lady Justice. Yes. Head bounce is the weapon because we mashed it up with a platformer. Got it. Special abilities. Macvin, wall jump, wall hang, and high jump. Okay. Critical damage or active glitch? No glitch active. A new subscriber. All right. Whoa, how did you trigger the critical damage? It triggered when I picked something up. Oh man, look how high I can jump. Oh no, and it moves. Oh no, don't like it. It's a side scrolling platformer. What a jerk. Oh, I guess I can't bonk that thing on its head. Or, oh no, then we went into JRPG combat. <laughs> um, yeah, attack, head jump, that guy. Tempest, yeah, let's all hit that same guy. Okay, one dude, game over. You killed an enemy that wasn't your mark? Wait, what? Retry. Ooh, give me that. Okay, now this is gonna trigger combat. Who's the marked one? Um, can we flee, I guess? Because we only want to hit the clomp. Which one's the clomp? And a hammer? You found a mithril hammer. Amazing. Um, does this guy have a clomp? Um, oh, that's the clump. It's that little blue dude. Oh wait, we totally got this. Yeah, this first guy, that's who we need to boink. Let's get him. Great. Mash complete. Cool. Um, oh man, look, look, it completely changes style as we walk around. Um, all right, create a new mash. A stealth game. I guess a stealth with a shoot 'em up. Let's see what happens. Hiding in dogs, is that what it said? The clock is ticking, agent. We have limited time before we must accept SLAM's demands. Find the yellow card. Homing missiles are weapon. Bonus health. Find the yellow key card in under 10 minutes. Got it. 
Oh, yep, totally Metal Gear Solid. Look, I can be a box. Turn around, sir. Yay, we have another Twitch Gong Show winner. Congratulations to Super Mash. And Digital, continue on your win. What is up with this guy up here? What is this? Oh, I can just punch stuff? Can I just punch this guy? Oh, no! Okay, wasn't supposed to do that. Now they're all coming after me. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. I'm a box. I'm a box. I can't be a box. I can't be a box. They know it's me. No! No! <laughs> Chaos. But yeah, huge congrats to Digital Continue on your win uh, for Super Mash. This is a really, really fun concept that it's like, you get to make games within games. The next game that we have ready for this show today is called Of Mice and Moggies. Now, Of Mice and Moggies comes out next month from Bippin' Bits. It is a smart puzzle game about catching cute animals by cleverly utilizing the environment. So let's go ahead and check it out, shall we? Uh, it does say here, this is not the final version. I guess campaign? Click on a level pad to see the level and play it. You can also press enter to start it. Mouse one. Great. Catch the mouse. What? You can figure things out on your own or get an explanation of the mechanics here. I'll figure it out. So I'm assuming it moves away from me every time I move. Wait, he can just get out? So he doesn't move, I guess, unless I get close. Oh, he can't see me in the grass, I guess. All right, I got the mouse. I'm not so sure what I did to the mouse and I'm a little uncomfortable about it. <laughs> so, so funny. Um, great, you won the level. You earn a rank based on how many moves it took to solve the level. You can come back later to improve your rank. Okay, back to the campaign map. Let's go to the next one. You can see how many moves you took in your best solution as well as the number of moves needed for each rank. Play. Animals cannot flee if the path is blocked. So I feel like I need to... Yeah, I just needed to back it up against the thing. Oh man, so many mice. I need to get all of these micees. So that guy's stuck. Got him. Oh, his just little dead mouse body hangs out there. That's so sad. Got that one? Oh, I got them both. Oh, heck yeah, I got them both. He's just sleeping, right? Totally. I have a cat license. I got a little medal. Congratulations, you just learned your first medal. You can earn more by finishing levels with a flag on the level pad. I like how each level also has kind of like a gold, medium, and bronze that you're going for. Oh, now we have a lot of options. Although it looks like a scary scarecrow over here, so let's go towards that. All right, how do I get these guys over here with their mouse friends? There we go, got them. Got him. This is like reverse Tom and Jerry where the cat seems to come out on top. Hmm. What is going on? Because when I eat his friend, the other guy is going to run away. That's not cool. Yeah. This is the first, like, really tricky one. Yeah, he's going to run away when I go there. No good. No good. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, I guess I can sneak into this grass and then get him. Got him. And I can get this guy there and then get in the grass over here. That's how I get him. Did it. All right, let's try this special flag level. Got that one. Oh, but now that guy is all the way at the top and he's never going to come back. Matt Milder says, like, clever puzzle game. Not thrilling, just curious if there are other critters. Don't know if there's other critters? That is a great question. But at least from the playthrough we've had so far of Mice and Moggies from Bippin' Bits that comes out February 23rd is an official gong show. Gong. Gong.
This next game is called Water Child. Water Child was developed by Sky Juice Works, a team of game dev students out of Malaysia. This is an adventure game with puzzle elements to its gameplay. Play as the Water Child and revive plants and uncover stories of the city. Join Water Child and their journey to reviving the land. All right, let's check out Water Child. I'm excited for this one. Okay, move the mouse. Um, oh, look how cute we are. Water child, you're adorable. So I can move around, shift, and space is jump. I don't really know what shift does yet. Maybe run? Yeah, run. Okay, well, I assume we go over this one with the glowy butterfly. Strong Ori vibes with the glowy butterfly. I'm getting strong journey vibes, which is a really good thing. Okay. Hi, bud. What is this? Oh, we're growing plants, because we're water. Oh, I can jump on it. How fun. I can go through the crack in the wall, because I'm water. Totally makes sense. Oh, okay. How do I get back up there? Can I climb up this? Oh. Oh, I just like water my way through the vines. That's cool. Uh-oh, where'd the butterfly go? What is that? Oh. Oh, I'm like, okay, okay. I'm like throwing water on this. And making a picture. All right, a picture of a tree. A picture of a tree. Okay. Okay, yes. Ugh. Let me use the vines. And then I can go through the wall. Okay, great. Figuring it out. You're power watching it. Oh, and we already have a gong show win for Water Child. Congratulations, Sky Juice Works, on your gong show win today. Part of the fountain's restored. Well, maybe that's what we have to do then, is restore parts of the fountain. I'm totally okay with that. Is this growing something? Yeah. Oh, the butterfly again. What is all this? Oh, another one of these. Okay, two of the three levels. I love the music. I really like the art style and I like that they've left a lot of mystery to this world. Whoa, look at that. That's the tree we saw in the original picture, I'm guessing. Yeah. There we go. All right. I did the thing. Oh man, and that is the end of our extra 10 minute playthrough of Water Child. This game is awesome, I like this game a lot. Our next game of the gong show today is called Space Court. There we go. As a newly appointed judge, you will rule over Space Court and its denizens to keep the universe safe or possibly blow it all up. Either way, you're tenured. Here we go. Judge, wonderful to meet you in person. I've been assigned to be your advisor during your tenure. We are truly indebted to you for accepting this position on such short notice. I worked in retail support. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't think anyone is feeding my cat. Wonderful. All right, toodles. Okay. You. What? Where were you? Do you have any idea the trouble you've caused, the headaches I've had to deal with? I'm guessing there's something I can help you with. Let's just say that. It, it does look like meat wad. Is there some... Yes. Cycles ago, we submitted all the documentation required for an acknowledgement of conquest of the planet Epsilon 5. 
I was given assurances over and over that it was close to being approved. Let's just say thank you for bringing this to my attention. I will make reviewing your case a priority and provide you with a response tomorrow if possible. A prompt response from this court? You better be able to live up to that because I'll be keeping my eye on you. Okay. Hello? Let's just say with whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Woodroom chief speak big. Too big. Pork not understand. Uh, me new judge. Hello. Oh, pork chief understand. Me pork chief. Chief of porks. Pork chief need help? Nope. Pork life good. Pork just say hi. Thank for hi. Woodroom chief welcome. Oh, liked. Good. That's what I'm supposed to do is get on people's good side. Great. You've arrived. Wonderful. We have a list of complaints that have piled up. Oh, yes, we do. Um, I heard it in space is breaking up. Oh, and we have another Twitch Gong Show winner in Space Court. Space Court, as I mentioned, is not coming out until June of 2021 from Uphill Promise. Congratulations to Space Court. Hmm. Good evening. You must be the Emp Ambassador. So you already know. I know you're probably busy. I just wanted to drop by and introduce myself. Would you like to talk over dinner? Ooh, am I getting a date? I'm gonna say that sounds nice. STS says, wait, what if this is just a big dating sim? I mean, maybe it is. Awesome. It's been very nice meeting you. See you tonight. Man, first day on the job and I got a date. What if this is a gigantor dating sim and you just date all these different alien species. That would be so funny. So folks, this has been Space Court. This is an absolutely wacky, wacky-tastic game that is coming out June of this year, so it's still quite a ways off. Um, it was kind of hilarious. The next game that we have on the Gong Show today, you're looking at right now, it's called Kingdom Gun, and they did partner with the channel for this appearance today. Kingdom Gun comes out in October of 2021, so it's still a little ways off at full release, and it is a 2D roguelite shooter with over 150 guns, items, and collectibles. And let's see what it's about. So I can use keyboard and mouse. Ooh, okay, just drop down here. Who's this guy? Hello, sir. The blacksmith. Uh, Reaper tier one, self-sufficient tier one. Well, I don't have any, I don't have any uh, gemstones yet. So, oh, but I can use that to take me back up here. Who's this dude? So I can be, oh man. Okay, yeah, let's be this dude. Chod mode, normal mode. Let's be in normal mode, please. Coral coastline. I don't know what is even happening. I've got a bird. I can jump. Is that a bad guy? Yeah! Yes, it's a bad guy. Stop! Stop jumping, you crazy jumpy frog! And what is that bird doing? I don't even know! <laughs> Level up. Record. Shoot a record on turn. Objectives, find the artifact. The difficulty right now is very easy. <laughs> What's in here? Self-sufficient, regen 15% more HP. Okay, got him. I'm just gonna back up while I keep shooting. Bird, I, I can't tell bird if you're helping me or... <laughs> oh no! More frogs! Leave me alone, I'm just coming here to steal your loot. So my regular shoot appears to be right bumper. Okay, I'll, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. And I actually think I wanna try the other hero, the Volt Knight. Different items. So I guess you can probably turn items off and on, weapons, pets, enemies. Bosses. Okay, so I got a scary, scary head thing. Okay, well, I killed that guy somehow. That was cool. I'm just gonna use my regular attack to hold those dudes at bay. Oh man, that face just went crazy. Let's try. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. So I can just electrocute everybody? 
I mean, that move is so OP. Volt Stomper, smash the ground with electricity when landing. That's awesome. It just does that? That's just like a passive thing I can do now? Boop. Thank you, thank you. And when I jump, I leave a bomb. What is that? Oh, what is that? What? New gun. Whoa. Whoa! That is awesome! Gotcha. Got an extra jump out of that. What is this? Hey! Congratulations to Kingdom Gun on your Gong Show win today. Hi, hi, Logan. Tabby's name. Tabby is Logan's stuffed tabby cat and tabby sneeze. Logan, can you say hi to everybody? <laughs> so with that being said, I am going to end today's gong show. Bye everyone.